Gallery. Um, he's these lovely 3D intriguing mixed media works made by a, a very interesting sort of back and forth between digital and the hand, um, working with drawing and painting. And he'll, I'm sure he'll tell you exactly how he does it. It's sort of mysterious. Um, he says that he's all about color, but he's also all about space and place. Um, so those things really um, loom large. Um, the title, Inner Gardens, um, really talks about taking you to the interior I and hope exterior. So. And, um, so I'm gonna stop there and let him talk a little bit and tell you about his work. Thank you very much. First of all, this was has been the easiest soldier for me mm -hmm. because I literally just dropped my paintings here on Saturday. <laughs> and on, on Tuesday I came to this like, wow, <laughs> I've never known how to hang them that way. And truly, it's very difficult for artists to hang their own stuff. And that has been my experience in previous solo shows that have many, many thanks to Nancy and Jen, who just made this happen. It's, it, it, I'm also very honored to be next to these two other wonderful artists. I'm yet to meet them uh, in person. Uh, so, you know, both of them are, I actually think they really, really resonate. Nothing happens by accident, even though you were not conscious of matching them. Uh, we are about mysterious spaces, all of us. But all three of us are about mysterious spaces. Little bit about my own background, um, if you we haven't met yet. I was born in Tabriz, Iran, uh, and uh, uh, I was actually very young age. Uh, my, my, my mother sent me to this miniaturist uh, uh, who, the Tabriz is like, uh, um, the, the cradle of uh, Persian miniature. And, and, and that's uh, its capital of Iranian Azerbaijan, you know, on the Silk Road to everywhere. And um, it, it has been a place of mosaics, uh, um, carpets. But at that time, I, you know, you, when you're a kid, you, you think that everywhere is like this. But I grew up on very colorful carpets, and I think my colorist approach is from there. Um, I went to England uh, to get my um, uh, art education. I got my fine arts uh, from Salford College, and I got, uh, I'm actually a textile designer by, by, by training. And I never designed textiles other than outside the university. Uh, but then I got my master's degree. Um, it was the time of uh, desktops or you know, coming to existence. Uh, I got my master's degree in uh, simulation of fabric structures. And then um, I started my own design company in Manchester, England. And without going to details, I came to Washington, D.C. for different reasons, but I'm very lucky that I ended up here because uh, it resonated so much with my colorist background, and I think all oh, people from my part of the world are, are colorists. They're not, you know, it's a sunny place. It's you're not about just carpets and all that, but you know, you, you're not afraid of color. So I was very lucky to end up here because I had the biggest resources of Washington Color School. Mm -hmm. So for the longest time, I was doing typical colorist abstract uh, expressionist, but more like colorist divisions, vertical divisions, horizontal divisions. I had my biggest uh, solo show in 2011, um, right behind National um, Portrait Gallery at uh, Edison Pepco Gallery. Um, and I had like 80 paintings there. Um, that majority of them were uh, actually colorist, abstract, um, color field paintings. Um, I was very much intrigued with what happened at the time of Renaissance when artists discovered Cartesian coordinates. And that also came from Middle East, uh, you know, X, Y, Z axis as we know them. And in 2018, I started putting simply perspective grids of 
uh, level one perspective brief, uh, level two perspective brief, just the grids that suggest the dimension on um, uh, top of what was completely abstract color field painting. And you know, the magic happened. Something really strange happened that I was not expecting. You know, obviously it provides a horizon and then you know you are all of a sudden in a depth. Um, I had my um, uh, solo show of 2021 at the Art League with the title Perspectives. And, and this is what you see in that card, there's kind of continuation of that, but I've delved more into uh, this, because what happens with, with the dimension on top of abstract is you get into this void, this gap of, you know, you see the space, but you don't know what is happening with all the colors. And it automatically pushes, pushed me to introduce objects um, like fish, like something dangling in the middle of nowhere. And through that, I discovered that this is actually, I'm dealing with my own psyche of, of my inner garden, my inner um, um, beauty that I haven't tapped into. And I really hope that this gap between reality and abstract in my paintings would help all the viewers to see that gap, that, that place of unknown. So I hope, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. So next I'd like to 